So we are docked in San Juan. I'm on the Costa Luminosa. It is March 8, 2020. And about to leave the ship to go into San Juan. I'm gonna do a portrait session there. Just read the news, very concerning that Italy has quarantined a third of the population. Um, I am supposed to be docking in Savona with a third of the population in Italy being quarantined. I'm a little nervous of continuing on to Savona. I'm supposed to be taking a train into Nice, France. I don't know if that's going to be able to happen. I'm still thinking that I should maybe get off in Savona or in uh, Marseille. The fear it, to me I think is more scary than the virus um, just because people are reacting so um, so uh, like so panicked so the symptoms don't seem to be um, that that concerning for someone that's in good health and they're really downplaying the symptoms of the coronavirus you know they're they're reporting only deaths that are happening to people with pre-existing medical conditions they're only reporting the deaths that are happening to nursing home residents um, they're really downplaying the the actual symptoms and the actual people that are dying from this you know they're reporting the same ones that die from the flu so the the level that they're reporting the symptoms and, and the, the actual virus is like here the panic that they've created over what's going on is like way up here. like it's so different than what they're actually reporting the the the, the actual virus so if they were saying you know hey people are dropping dead in the streets you know they're they're actually like not they're feeling fine they have a little cough they're feeling fine they're going home you know, going to work and then they just drop dead, which is some of the videos that we saw coming out of China um, looked to be that that was what was happening, but they're not reporting that. And so the, um, I, don't, I don't know, the, the, there's just a disconnect between, you know, trying to quiet people's fears about what the virus actually is and the panic that they're creating, the quarantine that they're creating and maybe that's just to try and keep the panic down and, and keep people's um, faith and trust and all of that kind of stuff up. And, and that may be a possibility, but if the symptoms are really that you get a little cough and you go to work and you drop dead because your O2 sats drop and you have you know, a convulsion because your, your oxygen levels are too low, um, that's something that the, that the public needs to know. Um, and, and that would explain the panic that's going on worldwide and why people are, well, why governments are saying you need to stay home so that people aren't dropping dead in the streets. But, um, you know, as far as like transportation for all those people that are out of the United States, I know that they're giving us some warning here and, and I, I really kind of feel like the situation might be that I might be quarantined somewhere out of the country. So. That would be a little concerning. I do have travel insurance, so if that were to happen, Costa Cruises is not reacting as if, okay, you all need to go home like right now. So the panic on the ground in the ship is everything's fine. You know, you're you know you're fine to do what you what you gotta do. You know, get to the airport in Savona or get to the you know um, train station in Savona, go on into Nice and fly back from Nice. Um, so, so far we haven't heard anything, but um, I'm, I'm still optimistic that this is going to be fine. I should probably turn off the news um, so that I'm not listening to it, but I feel like I would be kind of like just putting blinders on and, and trying to be naive. So, I don't really want to do that. Um, so, anyway. This is March 8th. We are in San Juan on the Costa Luminosa. I am an American and so far I love this ship. I love the people. I love the food. I love the classes, the dancing. Um, I, you know, I don't cruise a lot. I've only been on one three-day cruise that was to the Bahamas um, after I ran a marathon. 
and so I don't have a lot to compare this to, but um, they've done a great job, a really great job. People on here with all the different languages have not bothered me at all. In fact, it's been really interesting and a lot of great people. Um, I would definitely recommend it as an American. I think that they totally have our backs. Um, they work really well. You have a representative that's here that's just for Americans. Um, so I, I feel very well taken care of. So, peace. Have a great day.